Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to edit your HD Access file. So what exactly is the HD Access file? The HD Access file is used for redirects, security, and also for website configuration. These are just a few examples of the HD Access file. It can be used for many different purposes for your website. The HD Access file is detected and processed by the Apache web server. The location of the HD Access file is typically at the root of where your website files are saved. Now there may be more than one HD Access file in folders that are located within your website files. So you need to make sure that you're selecting the correct file that you want to edit. So in this tutorial we're going to show you how to edit the HD Access file using the cPanel file manager or an FTP client. And in this case we're going to be using FileZilla as our FTP client. Before you proceed, always make sure that you make a backup of your website files before you make any changes. So first you will need to log in to your cPanel and then go to the file manager. So here I am logged in the cPanel and files are usually at the top and you'll find file manager here. So I'm going to go into file manager and then I'm going to go to the file that I want to specifically find or the folder that has the HD access file. So once you're in your folder you can find the HD access file it is a hidden file and you, if you don't see it you need to make sure that you go to the settings in the top right hand corner of the file manager and then make sure that show hidden files is checked. If it's not checked then you will not be seeing the file. Once you have it checked make sure you click on save to make sure that you can see the hidden files. So since you're on the file now and you can see the HD access file you want to select it by clicking on it once and then at the top in the menu bar you have the option to edit the file. So click on edit. When you click on edit you'll see a screen that asks you about converting your character sets. You can leave it alone if you're not using any specific character sets for your site. So go ahead and click on edit. And here you can see the actual contents of the file and then you can start typing and make changes if you need to to your HD access file. When you need to Complete your edit and save your changes in the top right hand corner you'll see save changes. Once you have saved the file you'll see a green bar at the bottom confirming the change. So for the next section of this tutorial I'm going to show you how it looks to download a file from your website using the NFTP client. In this case I'm using an FTP client which is free called FileZilla. You can use FileZilla to log in to your account and typically when you log in with an FTP client you're either using an FTP account that you've created or you can also use the master cPanel user and password to log in through your FileZilla client. So in this case I've used my cPanel user to log in and I have already navigated to the folder where I know where my HT access file is that I want to use in this example. What you're going to do here is you're actually going to select the file as you can see here I've clicked on HD access and then you're going to download it to your computer so that you can make edits to it. So the easiest thing to do is go ahead and, and you can do a drag and drop here and say I want to download it into a specific spot here and I've already selected the destination and it's on my desktop so I can get to it pretty quick and then I'm going to edit it with a text file editor. So you can use Notepad if you're in Windows or Text Editor, any text editor that you're familiar with. You can open that file, edit it, and then save it. You don't want to change the file name. You want to keep it to .htaccess. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up an editor. So once you've opened your text file, the htaccess file, in your text editor, you can go ahead and make your changes. I'm going to go ahead and make, undo the change I made previously. And then I'm going to go ahead and save the file. So I'm going to save the file. I'm not going to rename it, just keep the same name. Make sure you know where you've saved the file so that you can find the file and then bring it back to the web server. 
So once you find the location where you've saved the file, you're going to take the file in your FTP client, and then you're going to upload it back in to where it came from. So I'm going to drag and drop the file and put it back into the section where the file was originally from. So I'm going to make sure that it overwrites that file so that it saves the change. And that's how you would update the htaccess file using an FTP client and an editor on your local computer. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting video tutorial. We hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd like to see a few comments so that we could know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.